Hi everybody, welcome back to the most wonderful new Daisy PC Community Server Mac Novica stock by D Dog um, that is getting some very positive feedback um, uh, indeed. And if we have a quick look at it, you can see kind of it's it's got that classic island um, design, which I'm a, I'm a big fan of. I'm a really big fan of. I like islands or like Chandras, you know, where there's definitely borders, there's somewhere where you start and somewhere where to go. Um, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install it on your remote community server. So let's exit out of here so we have uh, access to the launcher. Now, obviously, the first thing you'll want to do, and I'll put links to all of this down in the description below this video, is go over to the Steam Workshop and subscribe to Novica Stock. Um, as you can see, there's no dependencies, but what you will find, which is always very, very important in the description is the link to the Discord channel. Highly recommend you go and visit that um, because you've got, if you're going to be running this long term, one of the things you've always got to watch out for are updates to mission files. So, so when the main DayZ game gets updated and there's updated updates to the server files, you've got the update to the main uh, mod but also the mission files might, might get updated as well so if you're in the discord you know you can keep an eye, an eye on the latest news so you can check that out and make sure that you've got them got them um got them installed right so let's jump out of here um, and let's go back to the launcher so what's going to happen is when you fire up the daisy launcher it will download novico stock um, and then what you'll want to make sure you do is go over to your server. In this case, this is a Nitrado server. And then we're going to go over to the uh, dashboard. And you're going to make sure that you've entered all of the FTP settings, which are down the bottoms, which you'll see in a minute when that finally loads it. Gosh, the internet is very, very slow tonight. Let's shut that down. So we've got all the FTP credentials there. So you want to put those into your FTP program. Personally, I use uh, FileZer, nice and simple. So you go to File, Site Manager, and you'll enter the new details. Um, and then you'll want to connect to your DAISY server. So you know, sure you've got everything like that. And then you want to go to your DAISY server. And the first thing you really want to do is just, just stop it. Just, just make sure you've stopped the server. And then what we want to do is probably have a look at the files that we're getting with this mod. So we're just familiar with, with what we need. So again, if you go into the launcher, um, and then you go and find not Novico stock, which should be down here. Actually, is it already loaded in? It's at the top, isn't it? It's at the top. There we go. And then if you click on the little arrow here and click on the three dots and open folder in Windows Explorer, just say, I understand. This will then take you to where the mod is stored. And it's in your Daisy workshop folder in, your, in the game Daisy, normally under uh, C program files x86 steam steam apps common daisy workshop and if we go into here we can see what we get so we get the normal add-ons which is kind of the mod itself we get the key really important the key remember if we don't add the key to our server the mod won't work it's the most common error that people make um, and then if we go into the extras what we can see here is we get the uh, profiler now what you can do you can use the spawn of Bubaku mod with this to spawn zombies or infected underground, but you don't have to use that. So that's in profiles. But we've got daisyoffline.novikstock, which is the mission files. So this is a set of mission files that have been customized for Novika stock. And what you'll notice in here as well is there is a CFG economy core custom folder as well there, which is there. And so if we go into CFG Economy Core, and we edit that, we just have a quick look at it, what you can see is that that's all done for you. So the way that it works, if you're not familiar with this, what they've done is they've edited the main mission files where they can, and anything that can be edited using the CFG Economy Core method, which is where you can add or take away uh, values in the types XML, for example, with an additional file without having to edit the original ones, then that's there. However, it's very important to understand that you can't do that with all of the files, which means it necessitates that when you do have a mission file update from the devs, then you're really going to be looking at uploading everything so you can make sure, the devs of the mod that is, you've got to make sure that you get all that stuff there. So so we've got all that stuff, so, so that's cool. Sometimes mods 
will come with the mission files separately on a separate website so that's good and it's good to good to know where they are so what we're going to do first is you would go to your ftp program go to the site manager and connect to your site which i've already done so we can see here so i'm connected to daisy standalone there it is and then what we want to do is we want to start uploading the mod um, now the way that this works on this particular program in FileZilla is on the right hand side this is my remote community server out on the web somewhere in a data somewhere data center somewhere and on the left this is my local drive so what I can do is if I go back to the workshop folder here I can left click up here so it changes to a proper address and then I can right click that and I can copy that I can go back to my FTP program, left click there, paste that there, hit enter, and that takes me to where my workshop is on my local PC. So I can just open that up, go down to Novikostok, which is there, right click it, uh, sorry, make sure you've got that clicked, right click there. Oop. Don't do, there's something about FileZilla where they've done this now, it's a real pain. Well, if you click it too often, it takes you in take to the shortcut so just right click and then just click upload and that will upload all of this onto your remote server and if we go down here you should be able to see at novox stock so it's there so it's all been uploaded that's cool then we want what we want to do is just open up the novico stock and then go to the keys folder there so we clicked on that and that opens up this here and then we can open up the keys folder on the server and then we just right click upload in fact i'll well do that one because it's only a small file that uploads there so you can see we've got rt8.bykey there and we've got rt8.bykey there really easy to miss that bit so that's been done next thing we want to do is on the right hand side just scroll down to where we have mp missions and just open up the missions uh, directory and then just left click on missions and then in the novico stock mod on the left hand side you see we've got the extras and then we just left click on daisyoffline.novica stock, right click upload, and that will upload to daisyoffline.novica stock. So now we've got the key in the right uh, position, in the right folder, and we've now got the um, mission file in place as well. So what we need to do now is make sure we tell the server to start with this map and to start with this mod. Again, easy things to, to miss. So I'm doing this on a nitrado server so what we're going to do go to server settings general first and if you scroll down you'll get the additional mod section and as you can see i'm running cf somebody admin tools um, and vp admin tools and novico stock there so what you want to do is if you're adding novico stock as an additional mod you put the semicolon and then you'll put at novico stock if your spelling's not very good remember you can click back here you can go back to the workshop and you can left click on the name twice and then right click and copy that so you, your spelling is going to be spot on you just got to remember to put in the semicolon so put that in there and then save that and then what you want to do on nitrado servers anyway is you want to go into the expert mode on other server providers you probably find you have access to the um, uh, server config file but on you don't have that on um, nitrado so you've got to go to expert settings so you click on that and this is our server dz.config file so we just scroll down you can change things like your password and your name and how fast night travels and all that sort of stuff but what we need to change in order to get the uh, server to start with the correct map is we need to change this bit here the class mission section and your one at the moment here will probably say something like daisy offline .churnerous plus and we need to, need to change it to daisy offline .novicostock. and again if your spelling or your typing is not good go back to where the mod is on your computer go into it go into the extras and then just left click there left click again right click copy go back to the web and then just where it says pet template you would just control V and just just paste that in so that's in place there and then what we could then do is because the server would be stopped you'll get the, get the option to save so you can save that now once you've done those things you can then restart your server so what we'll have done then is we'll have um, put the uh, mission file we've uploaded that we've uploaded the mod we've uploaded the key 
we've told the server dz.config to start with the that particular mod and we've also told the batch file which we don't actually get to see on nitrado for example if we go to the general settings if you had access to the full server this bit here this is the batch file that we but we don't have full access to that so we have to do it via this settings panel but if you were to, if you had a um dot bat file that was certain to, was starting your server you'd have a line that said mods and then you would put that in there depends on the server provider you use but with nitrado you have to put it in there so we've added novico stock so we've added that in additional mods we've changed the server dz.config we've put the key in the right place uh, we've put the missions file in the right place we've re we've um uploaded the mod in the right place and the next thing is just to start the server now do bear in mind however that when you go back to the launcher and you go to look for it it might not be there because the launcher is having problems again so you might find you have to direct connect for the first few times so you click direct connect and then the seconds to join on Nitrado would be you would copy all of that and in the top box you use the top sections 5.83.171.204 and then import you put in 12,900 and then you click on save in um, favorites and that would then save that there um, and then once you've done that you can then join uh, set up DLC mods put in the password Oop. oh we've got a crash it's no good is it Let's do it again. There we go. Maybe when we get Daisy 2, we won't get crashes like this. So we go to server. It's in my favorites. Let's hit click join. Set DLCs up. Put in the password. Click connect. And then with a bit of luck, it'll load up and you'll be good to go. Now Vickerstock, really nice map. I've enjoyed running around again. It is largely done, but the dev will be adding more stuff to it in terms of like a mission to follow around, which I think is pretty cool. So keep an eye on the Steam Workshop page. Keep an eye on the Discord. Get involved. Ask questions. Um, enjoy the map. M remember, if you come across any bugs, bugs or problems or misplaced objects, make sure you report them in the Discord to help with the development. Um, because remember, compared to Behem Interactive... <laughs> I guess they've got a pretty small team, haven't they, as well? But with these community mods, it's very yeah, can be very difficult when you're doing it by yourself. So the more people who are constructively helping, um, really does uh, does help that way immensely. So a big big thanks has to go out to um, D Dog for this amazing community map um and thank you very much and hopefully this is helpful if you've got any questions put them down below if you need anything else let me know and i'll see you again soon